Apraxia of speech is a medical condition that causes a person to have difficulty talking. A speech therapist will call it a motor impairment because it has to do with how the brain signals motion in your mouth when you talk. Childhood apraxia of speech is the most common motor speech disorder among children. Apraxia doesn't mean that someone isn't smart. It doesn't mean that they can't understand you. And it definitely doesn't mean they don't have anything to say. I'm not a neurologist, so I can't go into medical detail about how apraxia of speech works, but this is how we understand its effects as speech language pathologist. When you talk, you get an idea in your brain of the words you want to say. Then your idea travels on a little road from your brain to your mouth, getting your mouth prepared to move your lips, tongue, and jaw to properly say the word. When all the roads between your brain and your mouth are well established, you think of the word ball, and then your mouth simply says ball. For people without apraxia, the roads between the mouth and the brain are smooth and easy to travel, so messages from the brain to the mouth move quickly and efficiently. With apraxia, these roads between your brain and mouth are not well established. They're rough, overgrown, and sometimes split incorrectly into several paths. In many instances, the roads aren't there at all. As a result, when you think of the word ball, your message doesn't stay on the direct road to your mouth. And in fact, it may take a different wrong road every time. So each time what comes out might sound a little different. Maybe a D sound, duh, instead of the B sound, ba, will come out. Or maybe your mouth won't open at all. Or maybe you accidentally stick your tongue out. Adults with apraxia of speech have described it as like being in a dream where you're trying to do something, like scream or run away, but no matter how hard you try, you just can't. It's incredibly frustrating because you know what you want to do, but you can't make it happen. If your child has trouble with articulation, that usually means they have difficulty correctly making one or two specific consonant sounds in their mouth. So they may put their tongue in the wrong place when they make an R sound, or their SH sound is more like an S sound. Articulation errors are consistent no matter what word the child is saying, and they are typically related only to tongue movements. By contrast, young kids with apraxia have issues with many different unrelated sounds, including vowels. Errors will be inconsistent, such as specific sounds being present in some words, but not others. And their mouth movements will appear imprecise. In apraxia, the most impacted sounds are those that require more precise movement of the jaw, lips, and tongue. The distinction between articulation and apraxia is important because they are treated differently in therapy. Articulation therapy involves coaching a child to place their tongue in a specific place, while apraxia therapy will target the coordination of all parts of the mouth together. These issues are not mutually exclusive. A child with apraxia may have articulation errors as well, which will require coaching before they are integrated into overall apraxia treatment. <laughs>